Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me what happens after I get arrested. Buckle up, Chuck, because here comes Crim Pro in 60 seconds. An arrest is a seizure of your person by a law enforcement officer who believes that he or she has probable cause that you committed a crime over which they have jurisdiction. If you're taken into custody, then you're going to be booked. This may be at the police station or it may be at the jail. Either way, you're going to be searched, photographed, and fingerprinted. You do not have the right to make a phone call or to have a lawyer present during this booking process. While you're in custody, if the cops want to ask you any questions, not questions like your name, but questions about the case, questions about why you were arrested, then they must read you your Miranda rights first. But if they don't want to interrogate you, then you do not have to be read Miranda at that time either. Once you have been booked into the jail, in Florida you have to be taken before a judge for a probable cause or bond hearing within 24 hours. Many jurisdictions are going to have standard bond schedules, making you eligible in those places to post a bond and be released without seeing a judge. Regardless, the next step after this initial appearance or bond is arraignment, and that usually occurs 21 to 30 days after arrest. We call this period the pre-file phase because you've gone from the cops being in charge to the state attorney being boss, and it's here this skilled and experienced criminal defense lawyer may well be able to affect the charging decision in your case. Obviously, there's much more to it than this, and you can and you should invoke your rights as soon as the cops approach you. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.